morning weather. And our Channel 3 teammates who are in Houston likely are going to be experiencing some record warmth. Here's the forecast for tonight's game. 91 degrees, which uh, beats out the old record by a few degrees in Houston. So it's hot. Feels like summer uh, in Texas right now. For us locally, let's do a quick recap of where we begin the month and where April ends. We watch our high temperature, our average high temperature, climb quite a bit this month, going from 54 on April 1st to 67 by April 30th. And we do tend to see, of course, quite a bit of rain, 3.88 inches of precip and 1.1 inches of snow on average. When the pattern supports it, we can get snow here in April, although it's pretty rare that we have anything uh, too, too significant. We'll be keeping an eye on this cold front later on tonight. That is going to help to bring in uh, some showers to parts of Connecticut. To our north, notice how it's chillier, 49 in Albany, 43 in Burlington, 41 in Portland, Maine. But to our south, there's a lot of spots that are in the 60s. So we're watching the battle of a more spring-like air mass and a cooler air mass across the northeast right now. Still have some 50s in Connecticut at this point in time. It's sitting at 48 in uh, Groton, 48 in Chester, right now 48 in Willimantic, 47 in Waterbury. Wind is sustained between 10 and 15 miles per hour with gusts outside 25 to 30 miles an hour. We could even see gusts briefly get stronger as we get into the evening. And notice the wind direction here coming out of the south and southwest. So that's helping to pull in milder air as as the day goes on, which means tonight we will likely be a bit milder than where we began the day. And even with the wind outside, feels like temps really aren't that bad. Still feels like the 40s with actual air temperatures for most in the 40s right now, which means as the afternoon continues and we get closer to our high temperature for the day, it should still feel pretty warm outside. Here's a live look at our eye cam right now overlooking Gamble Pavilion. A lot of people, of course, getting ready for UConn's big game tonight. Here's a live look at our eye cam right now in New London, too, where it's 48 degrees. Take a look at the flag whipping a bit in the wind, but it's not quite enough to really churn up the water. So Futurecast tonight shows that front dropping south. Notice the increasing clouds, especially across northern Connecticut. This is where we have the highest risk for a couple of rain showers to begin the day tomorrow. And then we end up with a really nice day after that, a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures running above average. We will watch that front actually drop farther south on Wednesday, socking us in with clouds, and we end up rather chilly Wednesday compared to where we normally would be. So here's the setup for all of this. It's not until the warm front lifts back over over us Thursday and then uh, we end up back with some milder air moving through. The cold front will pass through on Friday, late Thursday into Friday, dropping temperatures back and also bringing back a renewed chance for rain. But that means that when we start off the weekend, we've got high pressure in control. So we're expecting quite a bit of sunshine to end the work week today, about 55 to almost 60 degrees. We'll be close uh, tonight, about 40 to 45 degrees. So not frosty like where we began the day today. Early warning seven day here. Focused on tomorrow with some 60s. Again, just a shower possible to begin the morning. By Wednesday, we track a few more showers. Thursday, we track a few more showers. Take a look at those high temperatures, 65 to 70 on Thursday. Friday, trending a bit windier behind the front, but temperatures will be running near normal. And again, for anybody who's in Houston, Kara, temperatures feeling like summer, 91 degrees for the big game today in Houston.